Good morning. Ooh. Straight out the bed, but really straight out my <laughs> straight out of the bathroom because I did my morning routine, brush my teeth, and put on some skincare while also doing some eye patches right now. Just for fun. It's the weekend. Why not? Why not? In case you're wondering, it's literally like 6.30 in the morning. And also in case you're wondering, I wake up this early even if I don't want to. <laughs> I literally put an alarm, I think for 8 a.m., but I'm up at 6.30. So like, what am I going to do? Start getting ready because I have some things to do. And I was like, you know what? let's vlog all right we're all set up now <laughs> i have been a little bit off of my a game and it's normal it is what it is so if you're feeling like that at all just know that you're not the only one going through it we're all going through our own struggles and experiences some simultaneously though sometimes it feels like we're the only ones and i say that because i was recently having a conversation with my mom where i was telling her that I have never in my life felt the most disconnected from everyone around me than I do now. I feel like the people around me aren't necessarily looking for the same things that I'm looking for, right? And I'm obviously talking all together, like family, friends. Like, yes, there's some similarities. And of course, like, I still love my friends very, very much. And I still love my people very, very much. But I don't feel connected to them like I did at some point. I feel like there is this new level that I'm trying to go into. And not everybody wants to come. And that's okay, right? Like, I'm like, okay, like, if not everybody wants to come, that's fine. Like, I still like you. I still love you. But in order to go into these next levels, like I almost have to withdraw a little bit from those connections. It's not the first time that it happens. This has happened to me in the past. Thankfully, I do have people in my circle that depending on what it is that I want to talk about, like I go to them, right? But right now in this precise moment, I don't have anyone necessarily that's in my vicinity where I feel super inspired by or that I feel that I can learn so much more from them because I almost feel like I'm in a place in my life and I've always been in a place in my life where I like to learn new things and where I like to learn from others and I feel like right now there's no one in my life like that <laughs> and that could potentially feel a little bit lonely and obviously like when I tell my mom the first thing she says is like we'll go to God I'm like Yes, but no, like that's not the answer that I'm looking for <laughs> because obviously I go to God and obviously I'm talking to God about it. But I feel in my life in this time where I guess I feel the most alone, you know, like that's the transition that I'm going through. And I feel alone for those reasons. And thankfully, like, I don't mind solitude, but I'm in a place in my life where I just feel disconnected and i'm doing a lot of great things for myself and i have a lot of changes coming through and there's a lot of things on the there's a lot of things in the whole picture that are working out for me thankfully like i am you know not saying all this to be pessimistic about anything it's just a transition that's the word like that's what it is i feel like i am transitioning into another level and this is when, again, I come to realize that not everyone can tag along and not everyone can come along. And that's because not everyone is willing to go to the next level. I always think like there's room on the top floor for everybody. There is room on the top floor for everybody, but not everyone is willing to do the work. Not everyone has the drive. Not everyone is dedicated. Not everyone is responsible organized like not everyone wants it that bad because if you really wanted it that bad then you would work towards that right i've always been someone that strives for more and that strives to do the best that i can you know i don't even i don't even mean more materialistically i just mean more like even within self right like within self-development and more knowledge and 
trying to learn different avenues and different things like I think I'm at a point in my life where I don't feel inspired by anyone around me and that could potentially be dangerous <laughs> because if you're not inspired by the people around you then that's when you know you need to make a shift that's when you know you need to make a change and that can be lonesome sometimes right and it could also be disappointing because you also see others staying stagnant in their energy and you can see their potential but then you remember that hey just because you're able to see their potential doesn't mean that they want to live up to it and they don't have the responsibility to live up to that potential so you do what you do and they do what they do that's where i'm at <laughs> that's where i'm at but let me figure out what i'm gonna wear i am going to a workshop today and i'm excited because i normally like these workshops i missed last month all right we migrated to the bathroom i'm gonna steam i decided to wear this dress i feel like wearing a dress today sometimes i feel like being extra girly you know and that's okay <laughs> sometimes i just feel like the feminine it, the femininity in me just speaks from within and it's like yeah wear a dress today okay good and then other times I'm like not really in the mood to even try to deal with the dress and covering and whatever. Y'all get it. The girls that get it, get it. What I was saying to all this is that right now in this point in my life that I find myself in, I don't feel as connected to those people around me and that's okay you know like I just know that I need to make a shift that I need to make a change and I was just talking to one of my friends yesterday and I was telling her we went out to the park and I was telling her how you know I was sharing with her all of this because obviously like like I said like I still have you know like I'm not saying I'm gonna leave all of my friends behind and like I'm never gonna talk to them again I'm just saying that normally I create space whenever I feel stagnation because I just feel like energy is transferable and I'm not trying to be stagnant anywhere in my life and so even in relationships like I look for people that inspire me because if you don't inspire me then it's not gonna work out <laughs> I love me a good steamer because it's gonna get things done so quick. All right, let's go back to the room. All right, so I went to the park yesterday and I was talking to one of my friends, right? Like we went to the park together and I was telling her all of these, like all of my feelings. And obviously part of being friends with people is the fact that, you know, sometimes you talk to them and you tell them your feelings but you're not saying it so that they find a solution for you right thankfully like I have some pretty understanding friends and you know they also understand that they're in a different place in their life different than where I'm at and that's okay too remember wherever everyone is it's okay like you don't always all have to be at the same place but some of us have that disconnection and that's okay like we need to figure that out for ourselves we got this dress it's nipple covers only no bra <laughs> so <laughs> brb all right i figured it out sometimes i gotta go back on shein and like figure out how to tie my my dresses and stuff this is like a french knot type of thing it's a really cute dress and i wore it to bali you guys might have seen it somewhere very very summery vibes but you know dresses just elevate your look as a woman like it just makes you look super feminine and i love them so yeah whenever in doubt wear a dress all right this is the best view that i can give you guys <laughs> you guys are the way that my bathroom is set up i just kind of have to have you guys on the side but we're gonna get ready and look really cute why is it feeling warm i already did most of my routine except for the SPF so we're gonna go in with that oh so I'm waste you guys that's kind of where I'm at right now and in, in live and I know it's normal I'm not coming on here to you know like obviously these are things I already talked to you know my family my friends like the people that I'm closest to because it's not about hurting their feelings or like thinking that I'm better than them in any way it's just I simply I'm at a place in my life where I don't find I feel disconnected you know for various reasons 
that I'm not going to get into each individual one here, you know, and I know we've talked about like friendships overall. I'm about to put deodorant in between my thighs for the sheafing. Is that what it's called? Sheaf? I don't know. But I also put it in the crease of like between my butt and my thigh, you know, for the sweat. It helps it so much, just FYI. But anyways, talk, I've talked to you guys about friendships and like letting go of certain friendships. And one thing that I know for certain about me is anytime I feel disrespected by anyone, right? Like family member, friend, partner, by anybody. Once I feel disrespected, they could have been disrespecting me for years, but I didn't feel disrespected. The moment I feel disrespected... It's a wrap for you, baby. Like, it's a wrap because everything, like, I'm such a giver. I'm such a giver. And the way that I give, it's so unconditional almost. And I've learned to have limits and have boundaries because of how much of a giver I am. And by giver, I mean, like, my energy, my time, my devotion. Like, I am truly devoted to those people that I love. And I am a true empathetic person, right? Like, <laughs> for those of us, for those of you guys that can relate, if you're super empathetic as well, like, when you have so much empathy within you, you are so sensitive to people's energy and people's feelings because you feel them as if they were your own. You hurt, like, as if they were hurting you, right? So if you have a friend, a family, a partner who's truly hurting, who's truly gone through certain events in their life, like you truly feel them as if you went through them. And that has been, I don't wanna say my biggest downfall, but that has been something that has opened up my eyes so, so much more to be conscious of who I give my time to and my energy to and who I spend my time with because I realize that not everyone, you know, is empathetic and there are times where that energy is not reciprocated. So I don't believe in you know like everyone has to be the same in your circle but i do believe that the people that you are closest to and that you surround yourself with are going to determine where you go in life and they are going to influence your the choices that you make in your life so a lot of the choices that i made when i was younger were definitely influenced by my circle and though I consider myself to be a leader, I still have partaken and still have made decisions, really bad decisions in the past because of what everyone else was doing. And because we were all together and we were all friends or we were all family or we, it, it, like you just had to be loyal to the secrets and you just had to be loyal to what was happening. And I just, I don't like that. One thing about me is that I'm very authentically myself. And most times, if not all the time, I tend to go the opposite of where everyone else is going like i'll give you a, a i'll give you a fair example of jewelry right like let's just say right now van cleef is super in everyone's wearing it and the way that i feel about it i have always wanted a van cleef bracelet and a necklace right and i've always told myself like when i reach a certain level of financial freedom like i will get it for myself right now is in everyone and their mother is wearing it so many people are just have the same jewelry to the point where jewelers have you know recreated them and there's dupes and good for everyone who has bought them at a much cheaper price because is it outrageously expensive yeah but it was exclusive and something about that exclusivity caught my attention and it allowed me to, like I had a goal, right? <laughs> like financially speaking, like I love jewelry. And girl, this cost me, I got two of these for $15, two for $15 on TikTok shop. So I'm not here to tell you like you have to wear super expensive stuff. You don't, this is Shein, okay? Like my makeup is less than $100 altogether. Like, you know, I have the things that I will splurge on and then I have the things that I, like, I don't care for. But jewelry is one of those things that I really, really like. I love jewelry. They're timeless pieces. They're pieces that, 
you know they they're pieces that you can end up giving to your kids <sighs> they are pieces that you stay with when people go like they just have meaning right so anyways like that was something that i personally wanted when i was a young adult or a younger adult <laughs> than i am today and now that I would be able to purchase one at a more comfortable level and you know I wouldn't be going into debt for it whatever whatever I'm like I don't want it anymore <laughs> and not because I can't afford it but I don't want it anymore because now everybody has it so it's not exclusive anymore everybody if everybody's do going left I want to go right why I'll tell you exactly why it's not to go against the current and to like just willfully do the opposite thing of what everybody's doing. That's not the reason. That would be arrogant of me and that would be egotistic. I'm not going based off of my ego. But the way that I think about things is if everybody's going left, there is something so precious to the right and I have to go find out what that is. That's how I feel about things. And I don't know what it is. I have been this way since I was younger and maybe before it was more of an arrogant decision, but now it, I'm so conscious with the decisions that I'm making that I think about them twice. And I literally was like, everybody and their mother has this and I don't like it. I don't like when everyone has something because then it, it, it doesn't feel exclusive anymore. It feels like it's a, obtainable to everyone. And that's just talking materialistic things i look at things more than just material i look at things like everything has a spiritual meaning everything has an emotional meaning hence why i felt if you saw my vlog from panama like that's exactly the reason why i felt so so shitty from drinking all that alcohol a huge part of me knew that it wasn't just the alcohol that you know like yeah the food was bad or whatever but those events that i went through needed to happen for me to have a realization that i no longer want to drink alcohol and i'm not gonna sit here and say like i'm never gonna drink alcohol like ever in my life like blah 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 that's not what i'm saying but there is a difference between indulging in something once in a while and socially versus getting drunk and getting to the point where you're throwing up where you're dehydrated where you completely let go of yourself like there's a spiritual connection there that i just i'm not willing to compromise anymore because i've i've realized in the past but it took me to this time and i tell you guys this so openly because i want you guys to know that also me at this age and at this maturity level i'm still making certain mistakes and still learning from them and god is still coming to me and telling me like hey whatever you thought you had already worked through over here there's still room for improvement there's still something you have to learn from that and we gotta go <laughs> so anyways like it took me to go there and it took me to fall that deep this past week or two weeks ago to realize that never in my life do I ever want to be at that point ever again it was disgusting it was disgusting to the point where I'm like if I ever drink I just want a glass of wine like I'm a little classy elegant and that's it I don't want no hard liquor matter of fact I have a huge Hennessy <laughs> in my house like I have a huge one that I bought since New Year's I have not touched it actually since New Year's because I haven't been going out but like now I'm like I'm just gonna throw it out like I don't want it and I don't care that it costs $80 like money comes and goes I do not care because the harm that this has done to me and the harm that it could potentially do to someone else if I just gift it to them that energy that I'm passing on to them has nothing positive about it has nothing high level about it everything is low frequency and low vibrational so why would I give the rest of the alcohol from that bottle to somebody else that's how I look at things I I look at things deep within all right my makeup is done I just have to put lip gloss I think I want to do like a lip gloss instead of a matte lipstick today and part of me was like oh let's wear our hair down but it's summer I don't feel like wearing my hair down so I am gonna wear it up I washed it last night 
and i think i'm gonna do like a bun situation and just kind of like some churritos in the front or something we'll do something like that but you guys thank you so much for the safe space that you guys give me to express myself thank you so so much for never judging me and for being so understanding and treating me like a human being like that feels amazing to me to know that i have a platform where i can tell you guys my honest and true feelings and not feel judged by them and feel like other people understand where i'm coming from whether you're older or younger or wherever you are in your life thank you so so much for allowing this safe space for me like that means the world to me the world all right so i'm gonna do voy a hacer media cola because it's hot like at least my face at least my hair won't be on my face I'm doing the media cola before I actually curl my hair. Now we're going to curl it and then we have the churritos in the front. Being as girly as I am now in my adulthood is kind of funny, you guys, because I always think of my kids, right? So I'm like, when I have my kids, I don't know if I'm going to have a boy or a girl. I had always aspired to be a boy mom. But I have this great feeling that I'm going to be a girl mom. <laughs> and right now as I'm doing my hair, right, like I have the patience as the adult me for myself and to do my hair. But the little kid in me hated being in the bathroom, getting my hair done by my mom. And my hair was naturally curly when I was little. It was like super, super curly and everywhere. <laughs> And my dad would be like, siempre anda despeinada la niña. And my mom would be like, le puse mucha gel, pero está corre y corre. Se le sale todo el pelo. You know, like that was always like the thing. So anyways, I'm here reminiscing of when I was a little girl. And <laughs> just like the conversations that were had. And I'm like, I feel like history is going to repeat itself in that way. <laughs> Where I'm gonna have a little girl and I'm gonna be like, espérame, and like that type of stuff. But she's gonna look so cute. So we got hair done, nails done, everything did, and then the nails done, hair done, everything did. Okay, we're ready. All right, it is my favorite time of the morning, which is choosing what perfume I'm gonna wear. Right now, though, before putting on perfume, I am gonna moisturize because don't. Nobody wants to be ashy. Take care of your skin so it glows, so it looks pretty. This is when I'm like, do I want to smell girly? Do I want to smell expensive? Do I want to smell exclusive? My exclusive, the most exclusive, <laughs> the most exclusive perfume that I have is the one that I purchased in Dubai because obviously unless you're over there, you can't get it. Or unless I give you a sample, then you can take it to your fragrance person and they can recreate it <laughs> but i say it's the most exclusive because not everyone can get it so i love the way this smells it's it, it gives me elegance it gives me rich it gives me wealthy more than anything else and i love that because wealth doesn't always mean in possessions it means in everything you want wealth and health wealth and love wealth and money <laughs> and everything but since today is going to be a hot day i also go for a fresh smell which my dolce light blue is the perfect perfume for that so i think i'm gonna wear it all right i don't think i did this so we're gonna give you guys the full look actually there might be better lighting this way here's the dress which i'll probably tag it on my ltk shop because you guys have been asking me a lot about my dresses i decided to pair it with this very pretty tote bag from coach which i loved it literally sold out i don't know if they're gonna have new ones for the season because you know it's like a summer bag or whatnot but i also feel it's like the perfect size for a tote bag because it fits everything that i needed to fit for like an everyday thing and it's not super bulky and huge and i don't think you guys can see you guys are not going to be able to see my shoes from that angle so i'll show you guys basically what i look like <laughs> 
So it's really, really cute. Here are my sandals, which are Steve Madden. My dress is Shein. And then my purse is from Coach. But, you know, really, really cute. I love it. So feminine. Like, it's, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. She wanna vibe. Boom. What is up, you guys? <laughs> That is so funny because I feel like I left you guys at the house and then I am here now with this flower crown that I actually just created. Isn't it cute? It's giving um, flor, colico, flor Corico vibes. It's giving goddess, it's giving abundance, it's giving femininity, it's giving, it's really cute. But I am going to take it off now, but I just wanted to show it to you guys because I just left. Remember I told you guys that I go to a workshop almost every month. I missed last month, but I go to a workshop where it's a group of women and we just encourage each other really. And, you know, it's, it's a lovely group that I am a part of and I love um, because I feel like we all learn from each other so anyways i had not told them that i actually create content until today it's been at least eight months i think that we've been seeing each other <laughs> and we none of us had really told each other i guess like what we do or like fun facts about ourselves because we just kind of come and we go with the program literally you know and today was the first time that I actually told them that I like to do content and I shared with them about the YouTube channel. So if any of you girls are here, hello. Um, yeah, so now it was a great workshop today. We did this beautiful, beautiful crown. So we had a beautiful lady come with her business and do a crown and she brought flowers and everything so that we can do a flower crown for ourselves. You guys know how passionate I am about flowers, but I did not know a lot of the history and the significance like back, back, back in the day with like the queen and the 1700s and like all of that. Cause y'all know I'm not a history person, but I do know that flowers represent different things depending on what flower. But anyways, her business is Flowerful Theory. She has flower workshops and she also has flower crowns and like flower bars. So if you guys wanna check her out, you can check her out on Instagram. She is based in Hermosa Beach. So just FYI for any of you guys who might be interested. This is really cute. Like it's, I'm like, I literally told him, I was like, uh, I was gonna go get a car wash after this. How am I gonna show up like this? <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm not. I'm actually hungry. I feel like I'm gonna go eat at home first and then I'll figure out the car wash. <laughs> Cause they were like, no te van a dejar ir. They're not gonna let you go. They're gonna have you in the corner like calling in all of the customers. Cause you guys saw what I was wearing today. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Anyways, I am gonna head on out. The car wash is literally right here. So let's just see let's see. so i made a decision that i'm not gonna go get a car wash right now but instead because i am in the city of downey i've been seeing this coffee shop that is been going viral or it went viral and i want to go try their coffee i want to go see if their coffee is really really good they're actually right in front of coffee bean and if you know you know that i love coffee bean but i want to go try it it's like a mom and pop shop and i'm in the area i'm literally like five minutes from there so we're gonna go and try it together so thankfully that? it doesn't look like there's a super long line which thank god i feel like i have let the, like i've been see i saw it since like two months ago so i've let some time pass and i feel like people have already done what they do which is bombard a place which good for the business because you should get the business but it is called drinks drinks drive through espresso bars so honestly i would normally just get a regular latte but i want to ask them what their popular drinks are so let's go try so you guys in case you don't know i actually used to live in downey and i grew up here in, in downey and i had always seen this coffee shop it's been here for years and i just never thought of coming i really never didn't think of coming because i'm a visual person and i never saw 
pictures of their drinks outside and recently like I was telling you guys it went viral this business has been here for over 28 years I believe so this shows you what marketing will do like not too long ago and right now I mean I'm still in line I didn't realize that there's a drive-through window on both ends of the little place which is great I love that he is getting the attention he deserves I hear that their matcha drink here is what's phenomenal so i'm gonna try it i i want coffee but i want to try the green tea matcha with the strawberry soft top so i'm gonna try that for sure and then i'm gonna ask them as far as coffee goes like which one they recommend because i'm normally like if i go to a place that i don't know i will normally just get a caramel macchiato or like a vanilla latte like i like to play a safe especially because i want it to taste good but there are times when they have you know certain certain flavors where i'm like oh yeah like i'll try that why not let's see let's just see i'm excited coffee makes me so excited i haven't even had breakfast and that's the reason why i was like i'm not gonna go get a car wash i'm gonna go home because i want to go have breakfast and i've gotten to a point in my life where i'm like i feel like i've matured enough to where i don't even want to eat out for breakfast anymore or like for certain foods because i just i make them this better is the name of the place in case you guys are wondering it's this little little business right here but literally been in business for 28 years period. all right on next Um, so I've never been here. I am looking to Welcome. <laughs> thank you. Um, ice lattes, which one's your most popular one? Um, I was eating the orchaka latte or um, the most popular latte is pretty popular as well. But if you look at something a little bit more um, like sweet, I would recommend the cajeta latte, which is like um, it has like a really sweet taste of like condensed milk and caramel. It's pretty good. Okay, I'll do the cajeta latte. Do, do medium or large? Medium, please. Or no, large. Can I also try their, I, I want to try the green tea, oh, the, the, matcha, the with matcha with the strawberry foam, yeah. <laughs> Medium, please. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you guys still super busy from like all the viral flow? <laughs> uh, not as busy as we used to be, but like it's still busy. It's been like what, two months now? Oh yeah, hi. That's why I was like, okay, let me go now. <laughs> yeah, it was like the perfect time. It's not too Thank busy. you. <laughs> Okay. However, it, like the regular, oh, the regular amount? yeah, regular amount. Thank you. Boom. So I got me the cajeta latte and obviously the viral matcha drink that I just really, I really want to try. I love matcha. Normally, I'm more of a coffee drinker versus matcha, but. I mean, if it's available, I want to try it with the strawberry soft top and the cajeta latte. I want to give it like a good rating without the soft top because I can already imagine what the soft top is going to be like. So we'll add the soft top next time that I'm in the area. I'm in the area a lot, so we'll add the soft top next time. That'll be fine. But for now, I'm excited. I am excited. You guys, I love that we got to create these crowns. So, so pretty. And I love that I had the idea of filming it. I was like, how come I never film this type of stuff? But it's really cute. Ah! <laughs> so you're not princesa, so you're not reina. Yes, hype yourself up. <laughs> uh, I would normally say I'm a goddess, but you know, God is above me, so I'm a goddess, but he is above me. <laughs> Hierarchy. <laughs> That is so funny. By the way, I'm literally, once as soon as I get the drinks, I'm literally gonna stop right here and taste them with you guys because the taste test could not wait. It cannot wait. And since you guys love my coffee content on TikTok and on Instagram, and I love coffee, it just matches, you know? It's the vibe. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day, thank you. Thank you, you too. We got the goods. All right, you guys. So I told you guys that I got the green tea latte with the strawberry foam. Not everybody can make really good matcha drinks. I don't think everybody could. A lot of them taste very milky. A lot of them don't have enough matcha. Let's see. Wow. I feel like for me, this is the perfect amount of earthy and milky. Mm. 
Oh, this is good. Now let's try a sip with the strawberry soft top. Mm, okay. I see why I see the hype. I see what the hype is all about. I see what the hype is all about. You ever find one of those places? It's like I used to live right here and I didn't take advantage of it. And now I live like 40 minutes from here. And like I'm not going to be coming all the time <laughs> type of thing. But it's a good staple coffee shop to see and to have. Okay, now let's taste the coffee. We went, remember, for the cajeta which she explained that it it was condensed milk and caramel combined i love me a condensed milk latte so let's taste it oh perfect amount of sweetness and caffeine mm -mm -mm. oh this is good for my personal liking i feel like i would add cinnamon to this Wow, this is good. This was good. Phil, Phil is the owner, you guys. You deserve every single bit of hype for your coffee shop. You are doing amazing. Thankfully, right now, it's not as busy as it was when it went like absolutely viral. So if you wanted to come and try it, it is in the city of Downey. It is right by the Ralphs. And it is gonna take you some time to get your coffee, but we wait for quality items and it's okay to wait. Don't lose your patience. If you're impatient, is this is not the coffee shop for you, okay? But if you're willing to wait and you're willing to have something good and taste good and indulge in some sweetness and in some coffee or some matcha, this is your place. I'm gonna make it home now and I'm gonna try not to drink all of my coffee by the time I get home because I do wanna enjoy it with some breakfast. See you guys at the house. I made it home and you guys are gonna be so proud of me because I didn't drink the coffee. I drank this much and I already put it in the fridge so that I can make my avocado toast with my egg and mm, we can have this together. The way that my taste buds are thriving right now, like you have no idea. I also put my flower crown in the fridge so I'm gonna make breakfast now and then we'll talk to you guys. And just like that, one, two, three, I have made myself my favorite, favorite avocado toast, you guys. In the meantime that I was making it, I made a super quick tutorial on how to get this toast that is delicious and I'm about to devour. I am so hungry with my cafecito on the side, yes. And then we're just gonna chill and relax and just be here for a little bit. I do have some things going on later on in the day, but let's just simmer down in this moment right now. <laughs> that first bite tasted amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon to my latte because I just, I like the cinnamony taste and it is so, so, so delicious. Shake, shake, shake again. Mm. oh yeah perfect now i know next time that i go to order the cajeta latte with cinnamon you're the way that i rested when i got home you have no idea like i literally just chilled after breakfast and it was a great time but now i am on my way well i don't know what happened to that but i am on my way to my sister's house because we are celebrating her husband's birthday today denny j from tiktok <laughs> on yet another birthday on his 30th birthday welcome to the third welcome to the third chapter of your life <laughs> or the 30th chapter of your life i should say the third decade um yeah welcome to the team of the big 3-0 you know <laughs> so we are gonna go celebrate him and i'm gonna go to my family's see you guys over you guys you guys were not working for a little bit but we made it out to don denny's birthday <laughs> no we're not we are not we are not. I, no i did not i am not drinking anymore we talked about this we have my mom here you guys you guys always say we look alike do we look alike <laughs> 
I don't know why my camera is having like this delay response. It's time for a new one. <laughs> Yesterday, my camera ended up dying at the party and <laughs> that was so funny because I'm just remembering right now as I was about to talk yeah, that Denny was like, oh, take a shot, take a shot. And everybody at the party was like, oh, you're not drinking? Oh, you only drink on vacation? Y'all, I am not drinking. I do not want to drink. The pressure is on. <laughs> so if you are making a decision for yourself and you're being intentional about it, girl, hold on strong. <laughs> I thankfully people respect my boundaries, but you know, it's still really funny because it's like it got me to think this morning of like it's almost like a social expectancy, though it is normal, you know, quote unquote, because obviously, like, it is normal to indulge a little bit. But I felt good not indulging and I felt good not drinking. Thankfully, it's not something that I've ever struggled with. Like when I tell myself, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna do it. No tenía ni ganas. Like I, I wasn't even craving it. I didn't even want it. Even if it was warm or hot outside, like I just wanted my water, my food. And I was ready to go by 10 p.m. But we stayed there till about 11.30 p.m. celebrating Denny. And it was a great time. It was a great time to hang out. It's really nice to see when people show up for you to your parties. And when people just show up for you, period, you know? I don't think I've ever had a birthday party that I've actually done ever as an adult. Like, I've just never had a birthday party. I've never actually, like, planned to have one or anything like that. But it just got me to think, you know, because I always think about birthdays and people and whatever. I'm such a quality time type of person that for me, it's really important to show up, especially on the important dates, especially when you're invited for the people that you love, you know? So that felt really nice. I saw some friends that I hadn't seen in a while, so that was really nice too. But yeah, today is a whole other day. Sundays are my favorite day. They've been my favorite day for such a long time. And I think it's because I feel like Sundays are my start of the week. Like Sundays are really the days where I go more within and I'll go to church, I'll go to yoga, I'll go grocery shopping, I'll cook here at home and like prep my veggies for the week because I am not a meal prepper, but I am a veggie prepper. So it's so much easier to cook throughout the week if I have my veggies chopped up, you know? So it takes cooking, it, it makes cooking so much more simple. So if you're looking for a hack to your cooking, chop up your veggies. That is going to help you already so, so much because many times we're like, oh, I don't wanna cook all that because you gotta chop, you gotta clean, you gotta do all kinds of things, right? If you simplify it for yourself, it'll be better for you throughout the week. So anyways, I decided, I got a lot of compliments yesterday on my dress and yesterday was a beautiful day, honestly. I did not have that expectation of it, but just an overall day, like it was a really nice day. But this is my outfit for today. I like my diadema that I put on. It's really, really cute. I matched it up with some pearl earrings. I have my watch that I, I love this fossil watch that I bought since last year because it just like matches with all it just matches with all the rest of my jewelry. I have this bracelet. I get so many compliments on this bracelet, you guys. Like, people really think that it's real. And that chunky one is not. I literally got it on Amazon for, like, $15. Which, Amazon Prime is this week. So, you guys might as well go check out my storefront. Because I have a lot of things that you guys constantly ask for that are there. This shirt I bought from Shein. It's just, like, a big, flowy shirt. It's actually 
like a set with some shorts but i decided to pair with these jeans and my sandals that i've been in love with in love with this summer and then this baby that i haven't brought out to play in such a long time so this is a fit i don't know why when i turn you guys around like that like the camera is not focusing so anyways <laughs> i'm finally bringing out baby dior to play because i feel like ever since i got her i've only worn her like three or four times i don't wear her really often and i guess I guess it's because I'm like, oh, well, I'm not necessarily going anywhere fancy. But abundance, right? Like, if I really think about it, I'm like, I make, I am the one that has that, like, I'll create it. Like, even if I'm not going out to dinner, even if I'm not going A, B, and C, like, I'll create the space for me to be able to wear something like that and just be, you know? So I decided I'm going to wear it today just because grocery shopping, how about that? <laughs> because i have it i might as well wear it so yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me yesterday and a little bit this morning thank you as always for being here for all of your energy for your comments i am going to be giving you guys my new tiktok in case you guys haven't seen it i will be adding everything on my description and also my ltk shop because i know a lot of the times you guys ask me about my outfits and where i get certain things everything i'm starting to be more consistent on that platform and just like whatever i wear i take a picture and i post it there just as inspo and in case you guys obviously would love you know to purchase something similar so Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you. And until the next one, bye. See ya.